are you one of the people that you really struggling with buying the best storage containers or have you been in a position where you end up buying uh excessive types of storage materials simply because you honestly can't just find the one that you really need then this video is for you so talk about what to consider when you want to buy storage containers so make sure you watch till the end subscribe if you've not comment like and share hey guys if you're like me that every other time you get to see a container you want to buy them simply because you think they'll fit a certain thing in your home then we are in trouble but I really got to find out what are the best solutions to consider while you want to buy storage containers in the house storage containers really save space in your home they make everything look neat they really complement how your storage uh, will appear be it kitchen be it washroom be it bedroom be it your cupboard it really does a lot of work rather than everything being cluttered everywhere so these are the things that you should consider when you want to buy storage the first thing you want to do even before you start writing down what you're going to buy is that you want and the purpose why are you buying the storage containers what are the storage containers for if it's for the kitchen then you have to determine that is they are for the washroom they are for the bathroom they are for the bedroom for the drawers first thing to do is to consider the purpose what are you going to use for the containers after determining that you want to know and understand your space that is the second thing you have to do you have to understand the space your space where are you storing the storage containers because that determines what type of containers you're going to buy you have to understand your space just get to know you what your space can accommodate once you understand that you can never go wrong never ever you have to understand if it's big containers because that's going to tell you if you're going to buy big containers um small containers the shapes and all uh, and all that after getting to know and understanding your space the second thing to consider when you're trying to buy storage containers are the materials do you want plastic do you want glasses do you want a uh, melanine do you want a cleric because it really does count after getting to know all that now you have to determine your theme what is your theme for whichever place you're going to place your storage containers is it white is it colorless is it black whichever color but you have to determine the theme uh, yeah, of the area you're going to place the containers that's going to help you or that's going to enable you get to buy the best storage containers okay now you've gotten to know your space you've stood uh, your space you know the theme to know the price of the containers you just don't budget over when you don't know uh the price of the containers that you're going to buy how much are they going to cost you okay how much are they going to cost you and it's it's kind of connected to this the other to the next tip which is budget how is your budget what is okay with you like how much can you spend to buy the storage containers huh how much can you afford to buy the storage containers that's now everything because you cannot be planning for to buy storage containers worth ten thousand and you can afford like maybe one thousand or two thousand it's not going to make sense so getting to the budget really determines and helps you know how much you're going to spend and there it's going to trickle down to budgeting it's going to help you even know how um uh how can you buy them like can you buy in bulk can you buy in in bits can you you know it's going to help you understand or get to buy the perfect storage container the ability of that storage container for example there are some storage of containers i've been eyeing and trust you me they are not in kenya they are not yet in kenya i have searched all these uh home shops home decor shops and all all these small those containers are not in kenya and they are way so nice their material their, their aesthetics and all that like they are just not in kenya and 
I'll do anything together. But then that means if I want to buy storage containers, I cannot put them in mind as much as I want them. So how available are the storage containers that you want to buy? Can you readily get them? Can you get them in your country? Can you get them at uh, the market? Can you, you know, it really determines the containers that you're going to buy. I think that's going to help you get to buy the best storage containers is the material of the containers. Are you going to buy glass, uh, melanine, acrylic? It really tells a lot. You really have to put everything in mind. For example, personally, I, I would rather go for acrylic storage containers. Why glass one, you can end up buying not so good uh, glasses such that when you put them, when you sterilize them, you put them in water, they end up breaking. Or uh, you have, or what is, how, how best can I say it? Okay, personally, at some time, sometimes I'm clumsy, especially when kids are around me, my daughter, that is. And I feel, I just feel because at the end of the day, I want to put some storage containers when she can, where she can be of reach off or maybe when she wants to eat something. That means I cannot consider glass containers. Personally, sometimes I won't lie, I'm clumsy. So getting uh, a lot of uh, glass containers will not be really ideal for me. So I'd rather go for acrylic one. They are long lasting too. They can, they, yeah, they can break, but they, there is this heavy acrylic that can really help. And considering my space, it can really work. So you see, get to know the type of material and how you're going to handle them uh, really does help when you want to uh, consider the type of storage containers you want. You ought to really know is their durability. I think this is the super one. How durable are they? Because you can buy something that's too expensive, but it's going to maybe serve even less than a month. You can get something that's, again, maybe cheap, and it's going to serve you for quite some time. So get to know how durable that type of container is. For example, if you, you for kitchen, you would go for acrylic and glass, right? That will really serve you for quite some time. For bathroom, there's some materials you can't go for unless they're not going to be rich uh, with water, like the wicker, the wick baskets. Wick baskets, when they get water, they, they end up get, uh, going back way very easily. Water like kind of destroys them. So put them in the bathroom where water can reach them cannot be ideal. So yeah, get to know how durable that type of container is going to be and that's also going to help you determine where you're going to put it well i think that those are the pro tips when you want to buy storage container you want to buy storage containers those tips really determine the type of um storage containers you're going to buy now that i have done this I hope you're all going to buy the storage containers that are ideal for our space for our homes or wherever we want to put them, be it the car, the house, the wherever. Yeah, and I hope uh, this video has been of help to you. And I hope to see you on my next video. Don't, don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Comment, like, share as always. And I'll see you on the next one.